Hello everyone, welcome back to more Earthbound. In the last part, we arrived back at the desert and now we are just teleporting to Foresight. Anyways, guys, today we're going to tackle on the Momonotali building. Yes, we're going to finally rescue Paula from the building. Uh, apparently this guy who took her, well, Momonotali, he is evil, pedophile, I don't know. What we need to do now is my phone needs to be turned off because it rang. And, uh... Yeah, pretty much. I hate when I... Can you not? Please. God damn it. Alright, so let's just stay in the hotel and I'll just tell my friends to stop interrupting me. Okay! Let's get back in here. Alright, so a full heal once again. And, I don't know, guys. I'm really joyful today because, well... Uh, recording this on a Thursday, uploading on a Friday. I don't know why, but I really like this part of the game mainly because you're rescuing Paula again, and you're with like your best friend you just met like three days ago. But whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. This game just really makes me happy. I don't know why. I love this game so much. This is why I really wanted to play through it because I really like the game. Like it honestly makes me feel adventurous. You know. And, like most RPGs do, honestly, but this one stands out the most to me because it feels so realistic. Like, think about it, the real world. The real world is the real world is scary enough for you to know that chop favorite yogurt has a dispenser, whatever. But the real world is scary enough to like know that there's stuff out there that can actually harm you, but you can overcome those things if you're strong enough, you know. Not necessarily like buff or anything, but like strong enough to, like you're brave enough to like tackle things. I don't know, that was just having a moment there. But anyways, let's go up this, um, this elevator and we're going to the 47th floor and this chick thinks we're looking at her hips. I don't want to look at your nasty hips, okay? Alright, so what are you on top of there? Why did I, did I just literally sound like I had an accent there? Holy crap. Did that, did that come out of the video? I hope it does. I hope I can get an accent out there. Anyways, let's just go to this eraser, eraser, this elevator because uh, Electra told us about this and we get to go over here. Okay, so this part I'm going to kind of skip it a bit, like I'm going to speed up and play music, credit the band members or band, whatever I'm going to play. Um, yeah, because this part is kind of lengthy due to the enemies that actually take forever to literally like start a battle with. You know what I mean if you played this part. Like they literally just go 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the flame pendant to Jeff just in case he gets burned, and I'm going to equip it on him right here. Finally, he has something on his body. His body is ready. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to speed this up, so I'll see you guys later. This is what I spent. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Yeah, you know the rest. Okay, see you guys later. Alright, we're here, ping, clankety clankety, rattle rattle, devour, squeak. This thing's a shiny thing to, I don't know, a clumsy robot, this thing's a pain in the ass if you don't know what to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this fight is that I'm going to literally spam anything I can with it because I really don't like this boss. He annoys me so much and I don't like him. So yeah, sh I can't really use PSI wub wub on it, it's not gonna work. Well, as of now, but all I could do is basically bash it. I could try to PSI wub wub it, uh, wub wub it again, but right now I'm gonna use my bag of dragonite, and 
the baloney sandwich doesn't really do anything. It, it just pretends it maxes health, but it doesn't. Because it's a robot. Obviously, it can't fucking heal itself with a freaking baloney sandwich. But hey, if you want to be a robot, go ahead. Heal yourself. But this thing can't heal itself. So, yeah, just keep damaging it, and you'll be able to kill it in, in like, a few hits. Well, no, this thing takes a long time to hit. So, I would speed this up, but I already speed up. I already speeded up earlier, and I don't think speeded up is a word. Speedy dee 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 I don't know. But yes, this thing. Whoa! I literally made Jeff faint. I am so sorry. Holy shit, Ness, heal yourself, Ness, heal yourself! Jesus, I almost died there, holy... No, I'm gonna keep healing myself, fuck this shit. Damn, that was wicked, holy... Um... Well, this isn't good, I'm dying. I guess all I have to do now is just keep attacking until he actually dies. Keep dying, keep dying, please, keep dying, you killed my friend Jeff, and suddenly all the guys rushed into your room. It was the Runaway 5! Yep, the Runaway 5 literally saves you from this battle. <laughs> oh, poor Jeff, he died. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Goodbye, Jeff. So Ness gets a bunch of fucking experience points because Jeff died. <laughs> hey, Jeff, you didn't experience nothing because, you know, you're dead. Rip in peace, Jeff. I'm gonna give him the cup of life noodles to Ness, and I'm going to revive him instantly here. So let's go. Hello, Jeff. Welcome back. Okay, so let's see. I should probably. Wow, I'm stupid. Oh boy, I'm retarded. But anyways, yeah, we don't have any money. We are strong, however. If you'd like to pay you back, we'll help you whatever way we can. I thought they heard a girl's voice. Let's break into the room next door, except I need to go to the bathroom first. The room next door seems suspicious somehow. Alright, so let's go to the room. Oh, what? Stop! That's enough! Please stop! I give up! I really do! What? Paula? Hello. Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. I became so weak that I lost the Manny Manny statue. I saw it, I kidnapped Paula. I haven't done nothing to the girl. Paula's a really nice girl. Paula, return to Ness. I'm sorry I created so much trouble for you. Ness, you finally made it here. I'm fine. I believed you'd come and save me. Mr. Montali Oh, wait. She <laughs> That's Paula talking. What the fuck am I talking about? Wow, they should really put, like, fucking dialogue text. Paula joins you. Anyways, we got Paula back. I tell you everything. The Manny Manny session creates such an illusion. The evil spirits weakens your heart. Something about the Jackie's Cafe, cryptic words, leader revolution, cryptic messages now, don't stand me on how don't let them go into summers or no know nothing about the pyramid. What if only knows about uh, the, the summaries the summers, the evil Gygus, what the hell's Gygus? Especially because they won't want you to make it there, would you like to hear the story again? No, because I don't like to, and take my helicopter to open my heliport. So this guy's a super fancy British man with grey hair, and look at this pimped out Room he has. Look at that redstone shit he has going on here. No, Minecraft is not my next playthrough. Fuck you. <laughs> you must go on, Ness. This is your destiny, Paula. This is our goodbye. And farewell to everybody starting in your way. Was that good? Was that a good accent, anyone? No? Okay. So, helicopter's here at. Oh, you son of a bitch! No! You son of a bitch! Oh, I'm going to get you! I'm going to get you! Holy crap, I accidentally dropped my mic there for a second. Anyways, oh uh, yeah. So, basically, this dumbass is in our plane. Or. Plane! Fuck it! Helicopter! God damn it! I have no more use for him! This helicopter will come real handy! Goodbye, Ness, you little shit! <laughs> We're stuck here. <laughs> And we have to go all the way back down just so we could get out of here. Pokey took the helicopter. I hope he's okay. What are you? Pokey's a douchebag. What are you talking about? What? What? 
the what? Oh, I was a little dizzy, but I'm okay. We have to get the slimmers to get back. We need to go back to three. Ooh. What? Wow, you guys did a lot while I was in the bathroom. Ha ha ha, you wanna go to three as soon as possible? We can take you to three on our tour bus. Now the tour bus, we can wait till outside the building. Oh, dibbly do da dibbly damn. Let's go. Alright, we're outside again. <laughs> there's no need to wait. Alright, on to three. We're going on the bus again. This is the magical mystery tour. Hoping to take you away. The magical mystery tour. Hoping to take you away. And I am singing weirdly songs. I don't know what I'm saying now because I'm singing random different songs. <laughs> okay! Let's go to the desert once again. We're probably never going to see this place again, mainly. I don't think you actually go back to this place in the end of the game. Holy crap. Oh well, it was a nice place. I loved you guys. Eh, drugs. Okay, let's go. Past the cactus. Into the tunnel. Back into three. This guy's no longer there. He's no longer there. Do 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 do. Boom 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 Anyways guys, I, I guess I should end the episode off here. This is actually the last time we will actually see the Runway 5 in the game. So, yeah. Next time on Earthbound, we will head off on our journey. They call us good luck, and we'll, we'll continue on with our journey, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Robin sick my bubble! Yeah!